All right, you guys. So now we're back. Uh, we've got past the theory. Um, we shared a little bit with you about where the semantic web is going into the imagination space and also into the, to the relationship web, which is you know, a whole different reality. And yet that reality is being shaped online right now with the, the, the technologies, with the formats like blogs, the social media structures, all of them are becoming contextual dominant rather than just content dominant. Therefore, context is king, not just content. There's only about 1% of 1% of you who understand that, and those guys who understand context are making the most money right now. <laughs> because a lot of people will spend a ton of time just trying to come up with content. What I've discovered is that's literally less than 10% of my time uh, now, or at least, at least less than half of the time spent uh, than what it used to be like two years ago, focusing on content. Right. Come up with unique content, 10 times more important than content itself. So we're gonna go ahead and find some conversions. Here's where Sue's gonna start teaching us. Fill in the keyword term you want to an that you want to analyze conversion for. Conversation. I'm sorry, find the, the conversations on the web. This is right back to the story, to the relationship right. and ideas in your market. You're gonna find all of them, so you're gonna own right. all of them. Doesn't so, matter where you start, just pick a top little term. That's right. Notice we're not teaching you Kraken. We're not teaching you the last keyword tool right now. We're just setting up the story so that we know what even word what words we can even put in Kraken on the last keyword tool. Right. So let's just put something in like Let's find a conversation with our keyword um, real estate investing. Real estate investing. And we're going to go ahead and uh, I guess we change the. Does this matter here? Um, no, not only if oh, we're down here in that section. Just you know, just for everybody watching, I'm kind of new at this, so Sue, correct me. This is the find conversations. This is a whole different set. That's right. This is analyzed competition. So each yeah. space is connected to each button. Right. Okay, and then you don't need to deal with this until we do the competition analysis. Right. Is that what you're telling me? Right. Okay, so right now we're only on this section. Let's go ahead and go for it. Just click Find Conversations. Now, what I love about the idea of finding conversations is that we just talked about this upper right-hand quadrant on the spiral where we're moving, which is about relationships. You're going to be able to find, I've got to say, Matt really came up with this kind of concept on his own as far as the tabular version. And Sue and I weren't too sure in the beginning how we felt about it because we like data kind of all compiled together in one giant thing. And I always had Sue just like give me the answer. But the thing is that, remember how we talked about relationships and metaphor? There's some things that computers can't do. One of those is to be able to gauge creatively relationships happening in the marketplace. Now, I'll let Sue talk about Own GV because it's one of her favorites. This is the first tab that opens and it's very powerful yeah. for friendly conversations. It is. This, is, this section of Angelia is actually powered by Google, so it's doing searches, it's pulling off of the Google database um, to do searches in all of the different conversation areas about the keyword that you typed in. Show us what you mean. Okay, so for, we're looking at real estate investing. It's Right now it's looking at realestateonline.com and it's looking through everything on realestateonline.com and it's finding no discussions Actually, it's, it's looking through the internet to find discussions about this particular site as it relates to real estate investing. Now, we have the keyword in here. Yeah. So is it looking, it's looking for discussions about the number, on the number one ranking sites for this term, about this term? Well, the, right now, as you'll notice, we're here on the web section. Right. So it's actually looking at the top ranked websites and it's looking for discussions about those websites in regards uh, that are ranked for this particular term. Yeah, because yeah. you see it in bold here, right? Right. So, um, so as you scroll down here, you'll see like there's one discussion about biggerpockets.com somewhere. One is right here, and I guess. And, and if I click on this, okay, it's going to bring up that right discussion here. right over here. Okay. And, and this and this should have. The discussion with the word that we're focused on in there. Um, no, it's actually going to be the discussion about biggerpockets.com. Mm -hmm. See, this this is result one of three linking to bigger pockets, which is one of the top ranking websites for this particular term. So you're you're literally looking at your competitors, your top ranked competitors for that term, and looking to see how much conversation there is about each one of those competitors. So let me see if I understand this correct, because I've never really used this before until you showed me it. What you're telling me is that these discussions are not about the term, 
Right. These discussions are about the websites that are ranked for the term, term. Not discussions about them. Right. So you're really looking at the social conversations about how the coolness factor of a particular site or whatever. Exactly. It can be how bad the site sucks. Exactly. You know, so it's just conversation. Exactly. So what we mean by conversation is any discussion forums. Uh, so as a, for instance, when I was uh, doing research for the auto industry and I typed in Houston um, Ford um, dealers, what this would do is would be come back with a list of the top ranked Ford dealerships in Houston. And it would tell me how many conversations there were for each one of those dealerships. So I could basically, within about five minutes, get um, a feel for who was in good standing with the public. So this is also a manual way to do what some of the automated reputation management social software are trying to do. Mm -hmm. You can see for yourself, which mm -hmm. I actually prefer. Part of the reason that Matt put it in a, in a tab format is because of the kind of distributed cognition, in other words, you can see for yourself right. what's really going on. You don't have to take it on faith. Some of the social media softwares out there will tell you your reputation is five, where another one is poor, and they're looking for words like bad, good, sucks, or angry, or these types of things. Right. This you can see for yourself. Right. Okay, now, now I got let, me, let me show you more, because there's, at this junction, we've got tabs embedded in tabs. Let me get rid of this results page for okay. a second. We've got, lab well, here we've got blogs. Right. And this is still part of the Home GD uh -huh. site that's inside the domain web studio. Exactly. So you can actually look for reputation on the regular web. And then it'll show you the top ranking blogs. It's in the same format that you gave us for the web. Yep. So these are the top ranked blogs. And there's conversations about them. Mm -hmm. And as you see, there's no conversations about any of these blogs, which I find fascinating. So there's a few conversations about the websites. Let's there's look at the published date. This is August. That's kind of, yeah, this is a recently published yep. blog, too. So what they're doing, if you really think about that, do, do they have to have a discussion about that page? Do you know? Or is it a discussion about the whole blog? Um, it's probably about that link. That's yeah, it's too point. new to even have any discussions about it. So, so we're dealing with the time factor here. I mean, yeah, the discussions happen fast on the web. But well, yeah. I'm not saying, I'm just saying they have, it's obvious that it hasn't, yeah. one hasn't happened yet. Right, yeah. right, exactly. So then let's have a look at news if groups. Were, if it were Sue, she would have already had a conversation <laughs> I've that's had what, conversation that's, why she's, that's why we're arguing. <laughs> Aside from the fact that it was out less than 24 hours ago. Never uh, mind that. I can't stand it. Well, yeah. Just sit around. Okay. Tell us how you so, really feel. <laughs> this is world domination, not <laughs> matrix. <laughs> so now we're looking at news groups. Okay. So these are the same same rules apply. Right. Okay. No discussion. I'm thinking of a very interesting strategy as we talk about mm. this. One that I don't know we should release to the general. Mm. Okay, got it. So Three now years. let's look at news. It'll be interesting to see if people are commenting on news stories because you would think exactly you would think with uh, the more controversial news stories should be showing up here as having um, some kind of discussions about them. And it might be worth it just to go to the next page, just to get something a little bit older, since you, um... I don't know. Okay, so we're looking for discussions about these particular links. Yep, and we're not seeing any discussions about news things either. I think we just uncovered mm -hmm. a new type of SEO. <laughs> well, yeah, and this is definitely different by, um, market because I have been in some markets where there's a lot of conversations and the other thing to watch for in Ogilvy when there are conversations and you click on the little you click on the link over here and it brings up the box mm -hmm. you want to notice the dates on those boxes because um, sometimes your conversations are all six twelve months old yeah or there's only one and they're like two years old and the site's changed and it's about a different site exactly or the CEO is different I gotta tell you I find this surprising yeah Okay. So anyway, you have videos, discussions, buzz, Q and A's, reviews, real time. What's buzz? Buzz is, is Google's um, answer to social media. Right. And it's their version of Twitter. Yeah. So the bottom line is that Google has to easily and readily go out and scrape and find these links in their entirety in a discussion. That's really what it's on. Right now, as, as we come over here to Buzz, you do get into some discussions. A discussion with at least 10 replies. Okay. A discussion with at least 11 replies. 
to your place. So now that's really interesting. That so, is interesting. Yeah, the only place where people are really talking is in the social scene, um, but carrying is, on conversations. So this is stretched, but I don't understand where it is, but where are they getting this data? This is data. This is Google's own data about Buzz. Mm -hmm. So they're using their own parameters. Right. So we don't know where they're talking about it, or um, they're talking about we it. We should be able to. This is a website. That's all I'm going to get. Let's just open this link in a new window and take a quick look. I haven't done this before. Mm -hmm. I've just uh, all I've ever done was just to like notice. The yeah, numbers. we're kind of you know again. So, we're, we haven't mapped this, any of this stuff out. We're doing this stuff live with you as we audit our yeah. software application. Real estate invest. I mean, I can see the keywords definitely here. Right. So. Um, yeah, they're talking about real estate investing. Okay. And this is this is actually a get rich slowly dot org, a form. Get rich slowly. It's funny. Yeah. Okay. okay. So somewhere in there technically we would probably find since we're we're still focused on this term, that's what they're looking at, right? Right. They're not looking at that anymore. So they're looking for this particular term. Yeah, now if you want that particular term in exactly that order, then you want to put questions, uh, quotation marks around it. Mm -hmm. I, I did broad match, and so that's why you see real estate investing, yeah. see the, investing yeah. in real estate. Right, you guys probably already know this watching, but you know, the proximity, she's not in phrase maps, so it's kind of you know, all over the map. But it's a proximity search rather than a direct match search. Right. Okay. Well, this is interesting. This is actually further than Sue and I. We haven't really used these right now. We don't need to. There's so much richness, just the superficial levels of this thing. Right. But, you know, we'll give you more stuff. There's reviews, and I don't know what real time search is, but that's probably a different thing. Anyway, anyway Explore on Gilly. This is really Google's platform, so we'll still work in it out. My hunch is real time search is going to be tweets. Yeah. Okay, good. So there's the, um, you know, I don't bring up anybody who's brought real estate investing. Okay, we know those guys. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm probably in there somewhere as well for my client. Yeah, these are the guys that are doing hardcore marketing in a yeah. social media environment, which you're not supposed to do, but people do it all the time. Oh, sure. But actually, anybody who's got, you know, it's the real estate investing in the tweet, there's market. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, we get the right. idea. So let's um, keep in mind that this is a platform within a platform, so let's look at our attachment. So, Sue. What is our next step? We're just, um, we're, again, we're trying to come up with a, a managed expectation about this term, so. Right. We, now, we were looking at conversations, right? Yep. And we're, we're only on the first thing that we've had. On the first tab within all of these tabs. Yeah, and remember that Matt's process, and I agree with him, is be on your lookout for other keywords that you might want to add while you're watching the conversations. Exactly. Okay, like I've already just noticed a couple things. I didn't stop the camera or anything while we were going through stuff of words I would want to grab. Well, see, this is one of the reasons why this opened in a new window. Mm -hmm. You slide back over here. Yeah. And down here, you've got this add theme keyword ideas. That's what I want to show. So you click on that, and you can just start typing your ideas in here as you come yeah. across them or copy Exactly. And, paste. and you want to spend a good day. Some people can do it in a couple hours, but spend a good day going through this stuff because, you know, again, like Sue was saying, this is your brainstorm palette. You want to be going through all those upper tabs and you want to be looking at what's going on. And we used to call these water cooler keywords. Right. And we want you to, we've gone to a whole new level. We want you to look at everything. Just when in doubt, put them in there. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to find the, um, the numbers tied to them. Right. So what do you think, that, for purposes of demonstration, uh, we're probably going to shut down about one more minute in this video. On the yeah. next video, when we come back, we'll just go ahead and um, show them with one word, the yeah. whole process. Yeah, so I want to back up to something you said just a minute ago. Um, what Matt tells you to do for your first project is to pick a niche. Don't go after market. Pick a niche, start with a single silo. You're looking for a uh, number of computer pages right around a million pages, mm -hmm. no larger than a million pages. Right, which we showed in the video one. And you can actually do the research for that in just a couple of hours. Like yeah. what he's trying to do is get people past this point because if you take on a market for your first project, you can do get lost. Right. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly what she's saying there when we come back.